so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey, hey! It's me, Blippi! I'm just out on a walk! And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs> wow, weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah. Hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoo! Check it out! Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. Whoa. Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow. It's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, whoa, is so big! Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! Woohoo! What color is this umbrella? Yeah! Blue and white! Woohoo! Whee! Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa! Check it out! Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are... Whoa! It is so stormy out! Yeah! It is white and green. Woohoo! Let's go! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, check it out! Look back here! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain and then all this rain collected from the top do you see how much it says wow yeah it says about two inches yeah that's just over five centimeters of rain wow that's a lot of rain okay i'm gonna pour it back yep onto our planet earth because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey! Check it out! Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah! Isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow! Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh! 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 A rainbow! Oh! A double rainbow! Oh! Oh, it's full on! Oh, 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 
even a triple rainbow! Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas, goes up in the air, and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa! Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T Rex! <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast, sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain, it looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. A lightning bolt, that thundering sound, there's a storm coming any moment now. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods, sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet, and everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped, and the sun's shining again. Blizzard cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job!
job. All right, see you later. Bye bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, you and I get to learn about matter. <laughs> yeah. Did you know matter? Yeah, it's anything that takes up space. I'm matter, <laughs> and you're matter. And learning about matter matters. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, there are three kinds of matter. Three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> Solid is anything with really tightly packed particles. <laughs> yeah, hmm. just like my glasses. See, these glasses are made of plastic and they're really hard. <laughs> they're a solid. Hmm, another state of matter is a liquid. Yeah, a liquid, it's not so tightly packed, it's more loosely packed. Kind of like water you might drink. See, the water flows and changes shape. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. It went from the big container to the small container. Mm -hmm. And it can move around and take all types of different shapes, especially when you're drinking through a bendy straw. So delicious and refreshing. Hmm. Hmm. And the last state of matter is a gas. A gas isn't tightly packed with particles like a solid, and it's not really loosely packed like a liquid. <laughs> no, a gas is really free and flowy with particles that go all over the place. <laughs> Just like that. It's also the air we breathe. <laughs> it's really fun to use the gas or the air we breathe to fill up a balloon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> well, it was really cool learning about solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know that some things can be two states of matter? Yeah, not just a solid or not just a liquid. Hey, why don't you and I make some slime? Or oobleck. <laughs> yeah, oobleck can be a solid and can be a liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be so much fun to make together. But first, we need all of our supplies. Looks like we have a bunch here. You'll need a bowl. Woo. <laughs> yeah, a bowl. And I have a lid too. And the most important thing is cornstarch. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's snowing. Woo. <laughs> cornstarch. And I also have some really fun orange glitter Ooh, for some decorations. Hmm, what else do we have? We have some water <laughs> and oh, some cool food coloring. <laughs> so we can make it my favorite colors, orange and blue. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to start making some oobleck. First, I need to make sure to put on my apron because it can get really messy when you're doing experiments. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're all ready to start. So first, we'll grab a bowl and we'll grab a measuring cup and we're gonna start filling it up to one third of a cup. Just kinda fill it up. It doesn't have to be exact. It can just kinda be as close to one third of a cup possible. Whoa. Okay. So now we put the cornstarch in. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, for oobleck, we need two parts cornstarch to one part water. So let's do that one more time. Cool. 
So we put in all the cornstarch, and now we just need to put in one third cup of water. That's all oop like is. Just cornstarch and water. Here we go. Fill that up. Yeah. That's all you need, just a little water. Pour that in. And now, <laughs> it's really fun. You get to use your hands to mix it all up. Ooh, it's gonna be really sticky. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. Mixing up this oop like is so fun. Look, it's so sticky. Cornstarch is mixing up with the water. Yeah, you can slide it around, make sure all gets mixed in really good. Yeah, here we go. Mixing. <laughs> Whoa, it's starting to feel really sticky and really slimy. Hmm. <laughs> this is a really fun thing to play with. Really cool to touch it and mix it around. <laughs> well, I think we got some oobleck. It's looking really good. I'm gonna wipe off my hands with a paper towel. I think I'm gonna put a little more cornstarch. If your oobleck is a little too runny and watery, you can just take another scoop of cornstarch and mix it in. <laughs> I'm gonna do something else to make this oobleck super special. I'm gonna add some glitter. Whoa, okay, here we go. Woo! <laughs> this duplex is gonna be really pretty and really sticky when we're done with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mix it up a little more. So now we have the oobleck and the glitter all mixed up. This oobleck is awesome. Well, oobleck, like we were saying, is a liquid and a solid. See, when you take the oobleck and you pour it, it pours like a liquid. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Wow! Yeah! It pours just like a liquid. Hmm, but it's not just like a liquid because if you take something like a spatula or your hand, Normally, a liquid would be really messy and splash everywhere when you hit it. But with this spoon, see? When I hit it, it doesn't splash at all. Mm, no, it is tightly packed and staying where it is. <laughs> Just like a solid. Ooh, Oobleck is amazing. <laughs> see? Whoa. <laughs> well, that's really cool. But did you know you can do so many different things with oobleck? <laughs> yeah, come over here and we'll check it out. <gasps> this right here is a really big speaker. And you can try this experiment at home too. We covered it with some plastic wrap. And then we're gonna pour some oobleck on top of the plastic wrap on the speaker. Whoa, look at it go, so drippy. Okay. And now that we have our oobleck on the speaker, we get to play some music. <laughs> yeah, music. When we play the music out of this speaker, it will make the oobleck dance around. <laughs> Whoa! Because the oobleck is kind of a liquid and kind of a solid, it will do some really cool things. <laughs> Let's see how it dances. was dancing and making all kinds of really fun shapes. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Well, that was a really fun experiment, but 
One thing you should remember is never put Ublek down the drain. Mm -mm. You should put it in the trash. Because if you put Ublek down the drain, that's a different experiment. It's called the plumber. <laughs> so silly. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Well, I'm gonna keep playing with some Ublek! I'll see you soon! Bye bye Ha! <laughs> oh, Mika! Would you like to play a game? Sure, Blippi! <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's play a game of I Spy! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, okay, I'll go first. I spy with my blippy eye something brown and barky. Ooh. Hey, is it the tree trunk? <laughs> yeah, it's the bark <laughs> on the tree trunk. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And me, Eureka. And today, we're here at Tree People in the Santa Monica Mountains. <laughs> Ooh, we're going on a nature hike. Yeah, and we're having so much fun, enjoying the sunshine. Oh, <laughs> and the fresh air. <sighs> and the really tall green trees. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay. I spy with my Mika eye something big and blue. Oh, something that's big and blue. <laughs> hmm. Do you see something big and blue? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the sky. That's right. Oh, hello, sky. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. I spy with my blippy eye something red. Hmm, something red. <gasps> hey, is it this flower? <laughs> yeah, look. It's a red flower bud. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Oh, so pretty. Hasn't bloomed yet. No, not till the spring. <laughs> then it will be a beautiful red flower. What a beautiful day! Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't! Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out! Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great! We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. We must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth Party. 
home is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy, so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savannah To the polar bears at the North Pole The monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home When it's the home for you and me Thanks for dancing along with oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but after all that singing and dancing, I'm definitely in need of a snack. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. Whoa, let's go eat a snack there. OK. <sighs> this is so nice. <laughs> well, what snack should we eat, Mika? I have some fruit in my jam pack. Whoa, I love eating fruit. <laughs> yeah, I especially love fruit because it's an always food. Yeah, you can always have a healthy snack by eating some fruit. Mm-hmm. Look at this bright red apple. Oh, and I have a bright orange banana. Wait a minute. Orange? <laughs> it's a yellow banana. Yeah, <laughs> That's one silly. of my favorite colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this definitely is going to be a tasty snack for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got to just peel it. Mm -hmm. and then take a bite. Oh, how's your apple? Delicious. <laughs> how's your nana? <laughs> yeah! That is so yummy and sweet. <laughs> I certainly love eating yummy fruits and vegetables. Me too, especially with my best friend. Do you like to eat fruits and vegetables too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, Mika, mm -hmm. when we're done eating, we're gonna have some leftover food scraps. We should mm -hmm. probably find a place to put them. I don't see any place nearby. Yeah, we don't want to litter and just throw them out in nature. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to put our banana peel and our apple core. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can keep going down the trail and we'll find somewhere. Okay. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. 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 Okay, keep going down the trail, <laughs> eating our yummy snacks, and keep on the lookout for a place to put our scraps. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Look at this! Whoa! I wonder what it is. A trash can? Mm, maybe, but it doesn't quite look like one. <gasps> hey! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a triangle! It's two triangles. Oh, yeah, it is. One, two! Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm an eco educator here at Tree People. Ooh, so Hillary. Nice Hillary. What is this triangular thing? Yeah. That's a great question. This is actually two different types of soil. Whoa, yeah, check it out. Look, looks like there's some sandy soil in this one mm -hmm. and some mushy green brown looking soil in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these sides is actually sick soil. Can you guess which side is our sick soil? Uh, mm. this side? Um, you're close. It's actually this side. Oh, yeah. Well, you think we need to take that dirt to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this side is our sick city soil because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. Oh, oh. yeah. Look, there are some concrete blocks on the top. That probably is not too good for the soil. No, no that actually represents our sidewalks in the city. Oh, and what about this one over here? So this is our healthy soil. That's the type of soil you're gonna see out here at tree people or around on hikes. Yeah, Ooh. look, there's some leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> hang on some bark, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's definitely green looking. Yeah, it oh. looks nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary, we also have some food scraps from our snack and we were wondering what we should do with them or where we could put them. That's a great question. You can actually put that in something called a compost oh. bin. What's a compost bin? That's a great question. When you add your fruit and veggie scraps to a compost bin, it breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil. Ooh. Wait, so putting our banana peels and apple cores in a compost bin, it would make the soil really healthy like that. Yes, exactly. Whoa. We eat it and get healthy, and then we make the soil healthy. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Actually, you guys should follow yeah? me up the hill. I know somebody special who can help you compost your food scraps. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds so fun. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I think I'm gonna go check and see if the dirt doctor is in. Okay, okay. see you soon, Hillary. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, dear doctor. Hey! <laughs> Wait a minute. You look awfully familiar. Well, anywho, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> well, why don't you guys follow me? Okay. Whoa! What's all this? These are all the ingredients that we need to make our compost. Oh, whoa! Yeah, it looks like you have an awful lot of cool things here. Oh, and can we add our food scraps to the compost? Yes, you absolutely can. We need half parts greens and half parts brown. Do we have enough? You know, I think we actually need a little bit more of both. Okay. Mm, well, I think we can go find some. Okay, sounds <laughs> great. Okay, we'll put our food scraps here and be right back. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> well, Mika, what do you want to try to find? Some twigs. Ooh, and maybe I'll find some green leaves. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, and look, there's some green leaves here. <gasps> oh, but we should pick from the ground. Yeah, we don't want to hurt any of the trees or plants nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this. <laughs> yeah, all these green and brown things would be great to add for the compost. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it looks like we got a lot of leaves and twigs and organic things. Ooh, <laughs> some, some berries too. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take this back to the dirt doctor. Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We brought it back to it, doctor. Okay, sounds great. Why don't we start off with our greens? Okay. All right, well, how about on the count of three, we do our food scraps and our green leaves, and uh, let's do a rainbow toss into the bucket. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Rainbow! <laughs> Well, what do we do after we add all the green things? To the now compost? we gotta add our browns. So okay. why don't we do a little bit of all of the browns that we have? Okay, well we have an awful lot of leaves. Yeah, can Here you, you pass me some? Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. And I'll grab <laughs> some bark and some twigs. <laughs> all right, great. Now on the count of three, I want you guys to do a slam dunk into Ooh. our bucket. Compost basketball. Let's all right, do it. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did it! Well, what do we add now? Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that we can have some moisture in our compost bin. And why don't we mix this up? Can I stir? Of course! <laughs> yeah! Stir, stir, stir! Well, that's a good up. mixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! And it looks like that water is helping to break it down, right? Exactly. And in two to three months, this is going to break down into a soil that's our compost. Whoa. And then what do we do? use the soil for? That's a great question. You can put it in your gardens and you can give it to your trees and your plants. Yeah, oh. so they can grow big and strong. Speaking of plants, maybe we could uh, plant something? Yeah. Well, I'd love to plant something. Actually, I have something for both of you. Oh. I have white sage, which is a native plant. Oh, check it out. This white sage is so beautiful and the leaves are kind of fuzzy. <laughs> well, I would certainly love to plant these white sage with my best friend, Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dirt Doctor. It was really nice learning about so many things from you. <laughs> oh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Sal. I mean, dirt doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to plant our plants. There you go, oh, Mika. I have an idea. Oh, let's name our plants. Whoa, that's a great idea. Well, Mika, what are you going to name your white sage? Mmm, Buttercup. Buttercup? <laughs> oh, I like that name. Thanks. I'm going to name mine. Charlie! Oh, Charlie and Buttercup. Aww. I hope they're very happy here. Yeah. Well, Mika, these are actually native to California, oh. which means they're from California. <laughs> uh-huh. That means they can grow in California even if it's dry and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow nice and big and strong. <laughs> Aw, this is so great. Well, I think oh. mine's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks good, too. Let's put this flag here so we know that Buttercup and Charlie live here. Yeah, we don't want anyone to step on them, and we want to remember where we put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was so much fun celebrating yes. Earth Day. That was <laughs> awesome meeting the dirt doctor who taught us all about composting. Yeah, and what healthy and not so healthy soil looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> hey, can you spell our names with us? 
Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M E E K A H. -A -H. Mika. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. <gasps> Happy Earth Day! <laughs> It's me, Blippi! And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Whoa! Look at this place! This place is awesome! Ooh! Now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah! I love butterflies! They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go! Whoa! <laughs> There's one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. <gasps> I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy, maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. 
Have you ever had honey before? Yeah, it's so tasty! Look at what it is! This is the spot where you can do the bee dance! Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. Then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yup, because we want to make some honey. In the middle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way. Flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. That's why they're called grass hoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Whoa, look at this room. Another part of the living things exhibit. Whoa. Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow, they're like rats. But they have no fur, or, or hair, or scales, or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh, and an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa, see that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Ooh, check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know, but this is a turtle. Wow. Hey, how are you, turtle? Are you having a good day? Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> You sure do look like you're having fun. <laughs> See you later. Whoa. It's kind of dark in here, but that's okay. This is a green iguana. Can you see it? Whoa. It's just relaxing. Having a good time. <laughs> All right. See you, iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> Hey! See? It kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool! Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a triceratops? Yep, because it has 
three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Oh. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. Mm -hmm. See, these plants, that means it eats plants. Mm -hmm. And plants only, it doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> oh, so silly. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. <laughs> Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm going to act like this dinosaur, OK? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Woo, now we're going to do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. Gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm gonna do the same, but it's gonna grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. What's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, watch. I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it! Whoa! Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. Oh, it's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Oh, 
pretty fun. Whoa! Look at this area. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> okay, look in there. Let's go. Ooh. Welcome! Come on in! Hey, look! It's a little tree house. Here I go! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! 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 This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm going to do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. Shiny bowls. Ooh, I'm pretty good, huh? Ooh, yeah. Check it out. Listen. to the top, right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see, right over here. All right. Timber! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey. Here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, 
This is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah, check this out. This is a big number. 76 million 383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect, we're almost done, look! Yeah, this is our moon. We live on planet Earth, and we have one moon, and we call it Moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet, just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system, and this is Saturn. Oh, and the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space, so then they can feel the effects of gravity. And they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look, I just made all those things light up. Whoa, this is fun. Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> It was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, this is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance Way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to go down right here. See, watch. Huh? 
Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. All right, now I'll do it with one hand. Ah! Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello, this is interesting. See, I'm upside down, but in real life, I'm right side up. Hello? Hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there. All right. Ready? I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you <laughs> takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. PPI, -I. Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Whoa, and it looks like there's a dino behind me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site, yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Whoa, brushing away. <laughs> Brush, whoa, whoa, check it out. It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa, hmm, whoa, <laughs> check it out. Huh, are those fingers? Whoa, <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa, did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. 
<laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, stegosaurus. Whoa. That's awesome! Whoa, look at this! <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello? <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground, and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was, and sediment and different material fills it up, and turns into a rock. And then, a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it, just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> The Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> oh, so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa! There are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello! <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi! Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look! We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big! And I bet they're going to be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey! Good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did. They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur. No, a trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. <laughs> it is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus? Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw. It's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa. Did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah. You've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah. A hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hey, it's me, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. And look at where we're at. We're at Artists at Play. Yep, in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so cool. You can play like an artist. That's right. You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Cool! This looks like the yellow song fence. Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool. I wonder how you do it. Whoa, look at these balls. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds great. Yeah. And they sounded a little different. Yeah, let's hear it again. Oh. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. <laughs> Whoa! This side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second. Since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good job, Mika. Uh -oh. You're a great singer. Thanks. Let's check your pitch. <laughs> okay. Let's come up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. <laughs> okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items, uh -huh. and then if it's the high-pitched, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low-pitched, you squat down real <gasps> low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah! How'd you do? Really good! You got every single one right! Nice! You did a good job, too! Good job! Well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking! Oh, Mika, check it out! Oh, that looks like so much fun! <laughs> wow! This is a jungle gym, and it looks like it's made out of rope! Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool! Yeah! Wait a second, why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high! That sounds like fun! Let's, Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Blippi. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, yeah. There's the swings. Whoa. And Whoa. where we made some music. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, guess what I have. What? I brought my... Telescope! Whoa! Cool! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you scared me. Gotcha! And check it out! The Space Needle! Whoa! It's so high up! Yeah! Hey! What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the Space Needle! Oh yeah! If we go to the top of the Space Needle, I bet we're gonna see things differently from yeah. way up high! We'll probably see even more! Cool! Let's go! Okay! Whoa, Blippi, check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa, that's really high. I'm excited. I know, me too. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. A, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to be Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know that the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. Very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831. 832! Yeah! I made it to the top of the Space Needle! Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck. You are so smart, Mika. <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, Whoa this place is awesome. Yeah, check out this incredible view. Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay. Oh, it is? Yep. <laughs> wow, I bet there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, I see a lot of boats. Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year round. So cool. Yeah. Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika, why is this place called the Space Needle? Hmm. It's not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Whoa. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be careful. <laughs> totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Whoa. All right. There you go. 
All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. <laughs> Whoa, this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh-huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Uh, yeah, and if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city, 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, speaking oh. of cool, look at the view. Yeah, look at all of those houses. Wow, that building is so big. Oh, really big, <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah, whoa, oh. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Aww. Hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh, I love rainbows. <laughs> yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell me. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange. Day. It's so colorful. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, I had a great day learning and playing with you, Blippi. Oh, me too, Mika. Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the Artists of Play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. Oh, <laughs> and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Blippi, you were really fast. 
<laughs> well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. <laughs> yeah. And this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M E E K A H Mika. <laughs> All right, see you again. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>me blippy oh and look at where i'm at yeah today i'm at moxie in santa barbara california and this place is so much fun it has a lot of cool science things in there yeah today you and i will learn a lot about some colors Ooh, blue and orange and other great colors too and other fun things we can see with our eyes whoa like light <laughs> cool this is gonna be so much fun let's go This is the Innovation Workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, Hi. who are you? My name is Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Innovation Workshop. Great, thanks for having me. I'm Blippi. And what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna design and build our own LED flashlight. LED flashlight? I love flashlights. Cool. They allow you to see at night, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Do you have one made? Yeah, this one's made already. Let me show you. I'm going to turn it on. Whoa. Cool. Can I check yeah, it out? Yeah, go for it. Whoa. Look. It's really small. And it doesn't really look like a normal flashlight, but I can definitely peek in the little cracks and crevices. <laughs> cool. Well, how do we make one of these? Well, first, let's take a piece of wood. Oh, okay. down here. All right. And you got a piece of wood right there. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to take <laughs> some of this conductive tape. Oh, okay. It's shiny. Yeah. And we're going to put a piece of it on each side of the wood. Okay. So this tape is metal? It's got conductive material in it, like metal. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And so you got one side done. Yep. Wow. And now then... let's do the other side too. Okay. Put one on the other side. Just like the first side. There we go. And one on that side, one on that side. <laughs> Great, yours looks just like mine. Now let's yeah. take a battery. Okay, here's one right here, a battery. A little battery, and we're gonna clip it to one side of our flashlight. Okay, all right, here's a clip, a little clip. Okay, now Perfect. it's the fun part. We gotta pick an LED, a little light bulb. Oh, yeah! And we've yeah. got all these colors. Whoa, cool! They're really small. Looks like they have red. Ooh, I could pick from a yellow one. Oh, a blue one. Whoa, a white one or a green one. Hmm, maybe I'll do the green today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do red. All right. Whoa. So now we're gonna take these little wires coming out of the light bulb uh -huh. and stick it over the tape. Okay. Oh, so it has to touch the conductive tape. Exactly. All so right. Mine's not turning on yet though. Is yours turning on? No, it's not. It's not working. So here's the last step. We've got to flip these clips down. Oh, that makes sense to complete the circuit. To complete the circuit, right. Check oh, it out, you got Kevin. It. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make an LED flashlight. Well, thanks for <laughs> building with me. All right, well, I should keep exploring. Cool, have fun out there. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, it looks like a white cube stacked on top of other white cubes. Whoa, and look at this. Looks like someone was here before me. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I try and make them connect? All right, how about like this? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right, there we go. Now maybe... I can put another cube. Yeah, a cube is just a bunch of squares. You see? Yeah. See a square and 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 a square, and you put a bunch of squares together and it makes a cube. 
Six sides to a cube. All right, there we go. Whoa, we did it. Whoa, whoa. Looks like someone made a really cool tower. Oh no. Well, it was really cool. Well, how about we rebuild it and make a new tower? All right, let's start with some squares like this blue square and this red square and this green square. I don't see another big one, but if you connect them, look at that. Yeah, now it's a triangle. Whoa, <laughs> wow, square, triangle. Whoa, pretty cool. All right, let's flip it up. All right, now maybe we can put some things on the top, some triangles. Whoa, and then if they were really big, you can put them all together and then it would have a roof. <laughs> all right, what colors do we have? Orange. Ooh, we have green, we have red, whoa, ooh, we have purple, wow, so colorful, ooh, look at this one, yeah, the color yellow, whoa, <laughs> hello, <laughs> whoa, all right, I'll lay these flat, <laughs> now someone else can build their own colorful fort. <laughs> Whoa, so pretty and colorful. Whoa, oh, what does this one look like? Whoa, this one is also very colorful. How many colors do you see in there? I don't know, but there's a lot. <laughs> All right, whoa, let's see. Looks like another one. Whoa, there's even circles in there. Do you see all those little teeny circles? Wow, circles are so cute in small and colorful in there. Oh, here's one more. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, cool, that's awesome. <laughs> 996, 997, 998, 999. <laughs> Whoa, cool, this place is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, it looks like a steering wheel. <laughs> Whoa, like a steering wheel on a vessel, like we're sailing in the ocean. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, when you spin this, that spins. But when you stop it, that stops. All right, let's spin it to the right. Whoa, now that's spinning to the right. Let's spin it to the left. Whoa, now that's spinning to the left. Wow, and did you notice how colorful that is? Yeah, and sometimes when you mix colors, depending on the color, it makes a new color. Like say, if you mix blue and yellow, yeah, when you mix them, it makes green. Whoa, woohoo, yeah! <laughs> All right, let's keep exploring. Whoa, whoa, speaking of colors, this wall is so colorful. Whoa! Looks like we have some green lights, some red, some pink, ooh, and some orange. What does it say? I heart Moxie, Museum of Exploration and Innovation. That's where we're at, woohoo! All right, do you see when I pull this out? Yeah, it doesn't light up, but when you put it in, it does light up. It's because there's some light behind here and then the light bounces off the edges and the sides and then it comes out the end. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Whoa, look, <laughs> it looks like me. Wow, see my orange glasses? Ooh, and my bow tie? Oh, hello, Blippi. <laughs> All right, let's use a paintbrush, really big. Well, let's use some green. Ooh, look at this. Wee! yeah, I can draw with my finger. Whoa, wow, so great. Ooh, what about a spray can? Let's do red. There we go, whoa, <laughs> yeah, wee! <laughs> This is looking really good. Oh, wait a second. Why don't we make me a body? All right, there we go. All right. And then an arm, another arm, 
a leg, and a leg. There we go, there's a hand, there's another hand, there's my foot, there's my other foot. Whoa, oh, and my hat, Wee. <laughs> All right, last but not least, the orange on my hat. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> there we go. Ha, how does that look? Really good, <laughs> all right. <laughs> wow, yeah, this, you can actually draw on it. Yeah, let's see, let's test it out. Here we go, okay, yeah, some spray paint. Okay, let's actually uh, make a red background. Actually, you know what, let's erase that. Whoa, do you see it up there? Whoa, this is so cool. All right, how about let's spell Blippi. Yeah, you know how to spell Blippi, right? All right, let's get a blue and whoop. Here we go, ready? And watch up there at the same time. Here we go. B, L, I, <laughs> P, P, I. Flippy! Whoa! Good job! All right, this is so much fun. Are you having fun? I am too! Whoa! Cool! Wow, what a cool globe! Yeah! A globe, or a sphere, is a circle, but three-dimensional. Yeah! And it says my name. Wow! Wasn't this so much fun today, learning about science? Yeah! We learned about some colors and yeah, light, things that we can see with our eyes. Whoa! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? Hold on. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We're going to explore space shuttle, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. Hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look, come on. right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space. And it's called the Flight Deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls.
scroll so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Oh, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit, and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa. I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Oh, I think I'm gonna sit down. Whoa, okay, look at me, I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, pinch, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars. Whoa. Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it must take a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa. Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side. Look at these screens. There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel. What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa. There's more stars over there. Wow. Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing. Everyone hold on tight. Oh. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, up here. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> that was really fast and really fun. Whoa. Hey, now we're at the bottom of the space.
Space Shadow Atlantis. This is really neat. We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa! I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Whoa, aloha. It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Today, I'm on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, the trees are so green. There's so much green grass. And the shrubs and trees look so happy. Whoa! Hey, wouldn't it be really cool to see what this beautiful place looks like really high in the sky? Yeah! Why don't today we ride a helicopter and see what it looks like? And actually, Magnum Helicopters here on Oahu is coming here to give me a ride! Yeah, I'm so excited!
Do you hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's so high. Whoa. Hey, up there. Whoa. Wow, I am so excited. I bet everything is going to look really small from up there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's landing. Oh. All right. Wow, I'm so excited. All right, now that the rotors are stopped, why don't we go say hi? <laughs> Whoa, that was really cool. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Doug. I'm the chief pilot of Magnum Helicopters. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Wow, this is a very cool helicopter. Whoa, how long have you been flying helicopters for? I've been flying for 20 years. Wow, 20 years? That's a very long time. Do you know how many hours you have flying helicopters? I have over 5,000 hours. Whoa! Now that is a lot of hours. Whoa, do you mind if I take a closer look at your helicopter? Not at all. Wow, come on! Whoa, what a colorful helicopter. It's the color orange. Ooh, and yellow. Ooh, and brown. Whoa! Hey, Doug, what's this thing for? That's just a step so the passengers can climb up into the helicopter. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, and it looks like there's some seats back here. Ooh, and some seats up here. Whoa, how many people can fly in this helicopter? Uh, the pilot can bring four people with him if he wants. Wow, cool. And what kind of helicopter is this? This is an MD-500. Wow, MD-500. Whoa, and up there, I know what those are. Those are the rotors, right? That's right. Wow, and what does this rotor do? So the rotor, it spins around like a big fan and it blows the air down, creates lift, then lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Oh, cool. So this main rotor creates lift, so then the helicopter can fly. And there's another rotor back here that I know. Can we check it out? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. And this rotor is called the tail rotor. Whoa. Cool. And what does this do, Doug? This can spin the helicopter left and right so it can face any direction that we want it to. All right, so the main rotor creates the lift, and then this rotor, yeah, makes the helicopter turn. Really cool. Oh, and I know what that is. That's the boom, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And is this the number and letters of this exact helicopter? Yes, sir. They call it the tail number. Tail number. And I have a fun thing for us to do. Do you mind saying this with me at the same time? All right. All right, let's do it. N, N three, five, Seven M H. Wow, awesome. Whoa, what's this, Doug? Oh, this is the engine back here. You want to see? Right. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, this is going to be so cool seeing the engine of a helicopter. Whoa, come check it out. Whoa, I'm going to be very careful because it might still be hot. Oh, it looks very complicated. Whoa, and back here, look how dirty it looks. This must be the exhaust. Whoa, thank you so much for letting us check out the engine of that helicopter. Whoa, can You're we welcome. check out the front? Yes, sir. All right. Come on hey, this way. Wait a second. I know what these are. These are landing skids, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Why are they so unique looking compared to an airplane? They have wheels and tires, right? Right. An airplane has wheels because it has to land moving forward on a runway and has to slow down. But a helicopter can slow down before it lands on the ground and actually go straight down. Wow, cool. So helicopters can go many, many places because they can land and take off completely vertical like that. Oh, cool. Whoa, and this is where you sit? Yes, it is. On this side? Mm-hmm, that's the pilot seat right there. Oh, cool. Ooh, and what's this called? This is called the collective. Oh, collective. I remember that. That's what controls the vertical lift, right? Right, makes the helicopter go up and down. Oh, cool. And this is the cyclic? Yes. And what do you use that for? That can steer the helicopter. Oh, cool. And look at all those gauges. What are all those gauges for? Oh, we have gauges to keep an eye on uh, the engine, also how high we fly and how fast we're flying. Wow, they look very complicated. <laughs> you must be very smart. <laughs> wow, and there's different types of helicopters, right? Mm-hmm. Like firefighting helicopters, like Rescue helicopters. Or police helicopters. And what do you say this is? This is an air tour helicopter. Ooh, an air tour. Well, oh, perfect. I was actually thinking I could go for a ride around here. 
Whoa! And this would be a great helicopter for it. Because do you see the doors? No, you don't, because there's no doors. <laughs> do you mind if we go for a spin? That'd be great. All right, where should I sit? I'll come around here, hop in the front seat with me. All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa! So just climb on in? Sure, climb on up. All right. <laughs> cool. Whoa, it's so high up here. Wow, so cozy. How do I get, get started? Well, let's put your seatbelt on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, just like in a car, gotta buckle up. All right, all right, now what? Now take that orange headset right there, put that on so we can talk to each other. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange is one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> all right, hello, hello. So are you gonna wear one too? Yes, I will. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, here we go. Wow, it feels so cool to be flying. Whoa, look at those trees to the left. Wow, oh, they're so green. Whoa, check this out. That is a big mountain. Do you see how steep it is? Wow, it goes straight up and down. Whoa, let's head to the ocean. Whoa, check it out. That looks like a small town next to the ocean. Wow, wouldn't it be nice to live there? <laughs> Whoa, and look over there. There's that big mountain we saw from the ground. Wow, it is so cool how there's trees at the very tippy top of it. Wow, now that is some blue water. Wow, Doug, you are such a great pilot. You brought me all the way out to the ocean. Wow, isn't the ocean so vast? I bet there's a lot of sea creatures that live out here. Wow, look at the top of the mountain. Do you see that town down there? Wow, I bet they have some pretty views. Not like views like these though. It's like we're a bird. Kaka! <laughs> this is so beautiful. That is a deep valley. Whoa, and the beaches stretch for so long. Whoa, <laughs> you can't even see rocks on these mountains. They're totally covered by trees and bushes and grass. I bet there's some animals that live in here. Whoa, check out that waterfall. It is so tall. Wow, it looks like the water starts from the top and falls all the way down to the bottom. Wow. Cool. This is so beautiful. It's like I'm a bird just flying anywhere and everywhere I want to go. Well, <laughs> wherever, Doug, you want to take me. <laughs> Whoa, the sun is coming out. This is so beautiful. Wow, I bet we could get a suntan today. Hey, Doug, thank you so much for flying so safe. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa, look at this. I can see beach, I can see farmland, I can see mountains. Wow, Oahu is such a special place and so beautiful. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like something's in the water. Oh, I know what that is. That's coral. <laughs> yeah, they're actually living organisms and they look so cool from the air. Whoa, look at all these instruments and gauges. They are very hard to read, but they tell the pilot very important information. Wow, look at Doug use that cyclic so then we can fly real safe. Whoa, what are these things? They're circles, but wait a second. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is a sandbar. Yeah, that's just sand underneath the water, but just, just a little bit underneath the water. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is the University of Hawaii's island. This is where they study a lot of cool things like marine life, creatures and plants. It's really cool. Oh, there's the patch of ground that we took off from. Oh, I bet Doug is gonna land right here. Whoa, <laughs> this was so much fun. Wow, and now we're back safe on the ground. 
Wow, that was so much fun. Thanks for the ride, Doug. You're welcome, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, let's get out of here. He has another tour to go on. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun, wasn't it? I know. Wow, we got to see a lot of cool things. We got to see that waterfall. Whoa, that water looks so fresh. Oh, and all that coral. Yeah, at the beach. Wow, I sure do love Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place. See it spinning up? Wow. And weren't those mountains really tall? They're way taller when you're up in the high sky, huh? Whoa, they're spinning so fast. <laughs> I hope the next tour, they have a great time. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa I sure do love Hawaii, and I loved learning how helicopters work with you. 